about what the kids have been doing? What have you been doing with the kids here? Well, we got to play that sharks and minnow thing, and we got kicked, so we stopped uh -oh. that real quick. No, um, you know what? We're, we're just trying to get around. We're going to play with all the kids. We're uh, in the tent back here for Coca-Cola. We're doing more of a nutritional thing, okay. explaining to them that pop darts are probably not a good thing in the morning, yeah. and trying to eat a healthy breakfast important so, you know, it gets the, uh, the adrenaline going and, and balances everything out. But just trying to educate them a little bit about how to take care of yourself but also do we try to motivate them a little bit and tell them stories of, of hardships that we've had you know where people are you know i'm a big firm, firm believer that there's there's energy around people and there's energy positive and negative you have to surround yourself with those kind of positive people people that tell you you're never going to make it in high school i can tell you this in high school people told me why are you playing soccer soccer's never going to grow and this was in 85 it's never going to grow you're never going to be able to make a living why do you do that go do something else <clears throat> you know and uh, nothing like being able to prove those people wrong that i've been able to make a living out of soccer in the united states again you know we're just trying to teach these kids if you want something to set a goal and work hard for it. of course you've defied the odds exactly and what has been what you've most enjoyed about this full soccer camp here where we have a bunch of happiness and camaraderie and teamwork have you ever seen it i you know we've done a few this year already for coke so uh -huh. we have seen it but this is I have so many kids Moving in from San Antonio, Dallas, and Houston, to see them all with the coaches and enjoying themselves. I gotta say, I think last night was probably the most exciting thing of watching all the kids come together. Like the Olympics, you see all these different countries come in, they enjoy themselves. These kids are from everywhere. They came in last night, you were on stage doing the thing, <laughs> Bean was doing the singing, yeah. but it was fun to see kids mingling from Dallas and San Antonio and how soccer can bring a culture together for kids, and it's just something. But they had fun, they enjoyed themselves, they were dancing, and, and I thought that was pretty cool. One last piece of advice for the kids. Um, don't grow long hair. Shave a lot. Um, no, you know, I think the, the advice for kids is, um, is education. The only way you get into the pros nowadays is from high school to college, and college, if you're lucky enough, you get moved on. But if not, you walk out of a school with a four-year degree that will help you the rest of your life and broadens you out it makes you a well-rounded person but it gives you that education so we emphasize great enjoy yourself have a goal but education is the most important thing